Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is The Land Beneath Us, a turn-based strategy roguelite dungeon crawler that I'm very excited to be checking out the demo for here today. Seems quite neat. In we're gonna go to see what it's all about. Oh, you're finally working. I know you must be confused, but there's no time, so get your butt up. I just started. We're in the first five minutes, please. What? Did I do something wrong? I am so sorry. Due to this emergency situation, my default vocabulary system is now busted, so... I have to pick phrases from the creator's personal archive to communicate with you. I know, so quirky, right? Oh, Lord. Right. I received the protocol activating order originating somewhere deep down in the land beneath us. Your objective is to investigate what happened to find the creator. This is top priority not only for our facility, but for the entire world. No pressure, by the way. Anyway, the creator told me to show you something in this kind of situation. Is it recording? All right, three, two, one, action. Hi there, I'm the creator. That's right, the creator in the flesh. Well, sort of. Anyways, I'm bored, so I'm recording this just in case. Let me give you some context. Back in the days, humanity was suffering and sad. Then I, as an empath, gave them a wonderful life through my soul tech project. Did the whole curing diseases, solving basic needs, you know, gave them flying cars and stuff. The key to all that soul tech was something called soul energy, taken straight from the other world beneath us. With this new element, I can unlock so many new possibilities. With enough soul energy fuel it de development, a world without hunger, war, even death is not just imagination anymore. This could be mankind's solution. I even used it to build you, to help me harvest this soul energy for the good of us all. But maybe you can guess by now there's a lot of bad guys down there that want to stop me. Even with all this soul tech security, I might get captured or worse, killed! God knows what terrible things they'll do to me once I'm down there. Oh no, surely someone will help me if they care. By somebody, I mean you. Humanity needs me. Well, that's pretty much it. Huh? What's that noise? Bad guy. Hey, that's her. Ah, let me go. You're coming with us. It's moving so fast. She's unconscious now, sir. Great. I'll make sure she pays the price. No more lost soul energy. All right. The volume difference is wild. Requesting access to the creator's information. Could not open file because no. Mystery, mystery builds character, right? Don't worry, Ush, I got this under control. Since this is your first system activation, I'll walk you through the simulation of what you're up against first. And you know, get a grip on your new body, set up some good vibes. I mean, sure. Walk to the end of the room. A gate will open after a room is cleared. The different types of gate mean you will get different types of rewards. Weapon, gold, event, high-level monster, relic, soul, heal, face the lord. So we do have, like, a grid-based system. This is me moving. We do have a grid-based system. Move to that shiny red thing. The equipment stored in each slot is used to attack in the direction it's equipped with on the wheel. If you want to use the equipment on the left side of the wheel, you have to walk left. Okay. Hit an enemy one tile away. All right. Replace an upgrade. In the equipment you select is different than the one in the slot. It'll be replaced. If it's the same as the one, it will be upgraded. All right. I will replace my bare hands with the sword. So if we move up, we use the sword. If we, like, bump into an enemy, I can only presume is what it's saying. Open inspector mode. You can move to see the target's details. Press it again to exit inspector mode. Okay. Face the enemy. Bump into it to attack with the equipment stored in that direction. Red shows how far your weapon can reach. Yellow is where the enemy will attack next turn. So, can we punch? Yeah, we can punch. It just doesn't do a lot. Wait, this is actually kind of sick. Hold on, wait a minute. <laughs> It disarmed me with the, uh, the uwu talk in the beginning. You can skip a turn to avoid the yellow tile or the enemy's next attack. It can also be used to let the enemy come closer with square. Bodied. Now enter that portal. I'll take you to... It'll take you to a land called Anwen. According to our knowledge of humanity, some would call it hell. I'll explain along the way. Soul tech upgrade is located in the right corner of the lab. You can spend some souls to improve stats and abilities. Okay, the right corner of the lab. Meaning this, or is this the lab? 
and then we go to the right corner of this. Yes. Better armor. So it's very much a rogue light, you know. I was up front on the tin about that, though. So we got all cut. Okay, this doesn't show up on the video. But for some reason, when I move to this one, my game becomes windowed. I know that this is... When you see it hitching there, that's my game becoming windowed from full screen. I, that's... What a weird bug. <laughs> and then it goes back. Okay. A land that's always on fire. A head starts hand with territory filled with the rage of a demon called the Fire Spitter. Okay, we can get a, a weapon. Oh, it's above it, I see. Create a random unknown weapon. Hit an enemy. Whoa. Hit an enemy one tile away, then knock back each other. It's just if I hit right on the D-pad. Okay. One moment. All right. Uh, hit an enemy one tile away, one tile away, and then knock back each other. Each other meaning it and me. Hit all enemies within two tiles. Let's go for the spear. Uh, yes, sir. All right. Random unknown relic. You have 30% bonus damage. You have 30% uh, plus 30% critical. When you attack an enemy with less than 40% HP, you get plus 30 critical chance. Let's just go with 30% bonus damage. All right, one sec. All right. Just trying to figure out why it's <laughs> going windowed whenever I move things. Okay. It's not happening here, though. Go ahead and smack that. What looked like a fire hydrant to me. So yeah, we can wait. I don't know what these tiles over here do. I guess I can can punch. The question I have is, I guess okay for the sake of science. Okay, if you kill them, you do not actually move. Good. Okay, I still until I know what this does exactly. It teleports me around. Gotcha. Come here, mister. You don't want to come to me? You want to be like that, huh? Okay, you've come to me. But having this nice long-range weapon is quite helpful. So it's just the exit, and it ha it wasn't, uh, it just wasn't available until... Okay, so we, we lost some stuff on the ground, that's okay. Uh, this was, what, an event? Customer, oh, hi, welcome. No one's come to visit me for a while, especially uh, the one from Abrid since, you know, the incident. <laughs> Let me help you. You have any weapons you like to upgrade? Yeah, I guess so. <clears throat> if I could afford it. Maybe I could have if I uh, if I was able to pick up the stuff of the first one, but hey. It's all good. So is that just a fire hydrant from hell? We have... Hit an enemy one tile away on overkill, uh, when which is just on kill. Gain one stack, a ten stacks, consume all of the stacks, and upgrade this. Interesting. Hook blade. We can attack them and move them to the enemies, to the players' back. Wait, I actually really like that for the bottom because we can hook them to the back and then use the spear. This is a really cool system, actually. Is this my back? Uh, okay, that makes sense that that's my back. I was assuming that my back would be um, just the opposite side of whatever I hit it with, you know? Valid. We can't relocate things once we've already done it, it seems like. I think we kill. Come here, come here. So you just have a pretty specific pattern, huh? Create a random unknown relic. Whenever you knock back an enemy into an obstacle or another enemy, apply to stun. Chest price down by 50%. 
That seems like something that would be good to get really early. So it's 200 gold, right? So that 258 green stuff is that what? Meta currency? Seems to be the case. Hi, hey, welcome to my shop. Don't think I've seen you around. You seem different from the other creatures. You look stiff. Anyway, take a look around. But yeah, uh, on assault, which, hold on, let me double check. Does it say, I can't hover over to get what that means again. I assumed it was on attack, but it's probably something else. Ooh. Slightly less damage, but if you kill, you heal. Hit an enemy one tile away and then move to the tile behind them. Oh my gosh, you Okay. We do have to be a little bit careful. We can actually hit both of those enemies. So you just kind of move up and back. We have a hundred bucks. Maybe one day we'll get a little bit more money. Because as of right now, I can't get squat. <laughs> R1 is how we... Yeah, random relic. It's okay. Yeah, burn. At the end of the turn, deal 5% of your max HP. Or it takes 5% of its max HP. Hit an enemy one tile away, then knock back each other. Fire a shot three tiles away. I kind of like that. We'll do a little bit of a, a little bit of a shot. So why are these ones not even uh, not turned on, huh? Huh? They are fearing not. I exist purely to help lost souls. So one can continue wandering around this cruel world. Come, dear traveler, if you wish for my help, I may use my power to bless your relics. Do you just what improve relics? Whoa. I'm going to be I'm going to be crazy. If it's free, let's go for the uh the chest price down cuz again, 30% damage seems great and all. A, it does say the word bonus damage, which might not be um Uh-oh. So you summon the slimes what after a certain amount of damage? Or is it a move? I don't have anything on my right. Oh, shoot. Yeah, because I was going to say, there's actually a... We're in a weird spot. Okay, if he collects the slimes, he heals. This It's pretty, pretty standard slime stuff there. Okay, move. I feel like we're going to get trapped if we don't uh, stay a little bit careful here. The sound. Bump, 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 bump. Yeah, I, I, I was going to say, I have them right where I want them. Your non-crits have minus 50% damage, but you get 50% extra critical damage. Whenever you die, you revive once. If you have less than 50% max... I mean, let's get this. It's an epic. Oh, we can go back to the enchanter? No. Weird. Okay. I, in my head, I'm like, okay, this is a boss. We are going to go to, like, a new zone or something after. But that is not the case. That guy moves diagonal. We're about to get, like, a third charge in our, our hook. What does that do for us? Is that the, uh, how we activate our effect, maybe? Just in case I'm wrong about that killing. When attacking an enemy with 40% less, when taking damage from a trapper status effect, you have 50%. You minus 50% when taking damage and can't go below 1 HP. You get 20 max health? Wait, that, we just double our max health? Seems absurd. But yeah, this is what I was talking about. Look, we can actually afford a weapon now. Or a relic. 
I'll check a weapon chest, though. Hit enemy one tile away with minus 50% critical chance. Hit all enemies two tiles away on a crit. Knock back the enemy in the first tile where it will take a second hit. Does a little bit less damage naturally, though. Yeah, I want. I really want to see what assault means again. Because it's not immediately clear. Let's go for a weapon. It could be, uh, it could just be on damage. Is kind of like why I thought, okay, you're not attacking me, but I'm going to get locked into a spot here. He's charging up something. Okay. I am now trapped. He was very polite, at the very least. There, yeah, I was gonna say there's gonna be damage. Room suddenly got a little bit, a uh, little bit nuts. Wanted to get him into the fire because now he can take uh, extra damage for a turn. Congratulations, you got me into the corner again. Okay, thankfully, they were a little bit patient there. Good. Goodbye. God, that was actually kind of a tough one. We could try and just upgrade what we have instead. I think that's maybe a better call. But the audio, the audio balance is tough. It's like really quiet here, and then some of the attacks get super, super loud. Our gun is actually going to be one of our better damage things. And that's what? That's that's just a nothing. It's just a... It's just junk, basically. Yeah, not fully clear on the laser beams yet. Seems like it's just kind of a couple... Wait. Is it if they don't get hit? No, I, I think they're just charging up a shot. I assumed we'd kill. I didn't want to be, like, 100% confident, though. I've not once moved an enemy behind me. I feel like I, I'd want to change my bottom thing. Fire two shots, two tiles away. So overkill is just whenever you kill. I think... I know we could upgrade our spear, but let's, let's, let's swap this bad boy out. We got so much money. Eleven damage on the weapon now. Let's check a relic. I, I feel like they're pretty good. We've been we just grabbed a whole bunch of weapons. Yeah, that's just that's just the whole thing. It's it feels like it's something I need to be um, working around, but I think the answer is no. Lol. Might as well heal off of him. If you kill an enemy, your next attack does 75% more damage. But if you knock back an enemy... I don't have a lot of knockback. I think my halberd can. When you kill an enemy, your next attack does 75% extra bonus damage. Sure. Let's go weapon. Bang. I want to do something with it in here, but... Okay, line them up. We want to get above them. So we can start getting healed. 
Yeah, three, three is a decent amount. It's like a kind of a lot. Upgrade the pistol. I thought it was doing, uh, I guess it was doing eight originally or something. What? I suppose. Halberd, let's do it. On crit, we knock enemies away. I feel like I could end up getting rid of that too, but. On room clear, 2 HP, 30% critical damage. If they have less than 40%, you get 30% crit chance. I'll say sure to that for like a boss. Oh, you can only, we can only have three. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, huh, it's pretty limited. Don't really need healing here. But I'll, I'll bait this guy up here. I mean, we'll take a look. On room clear, heal equal to three times the number of enemies that died this room. It would be this, if anything, but I think I'm just gonna say... I think I'm just gonna say no. Revolver fire shot two away, then knock back yourself one tile. So... Oh, wow. 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 That's what assault was. That's kind of what I was thinking. I, I, I did figure it out. I think that's kind of bad then. I think that's too much. That's too much in order to move them. And I'm going to say no to the sword. Yeah, it's, it's pretty limited. Let's see what's here. It's pretty darn limited how much stuff you can have. Oops. Uh, how much do you have for health? You have five. Bonk. Oh, we knocked him back. Because we got the crit. Back it up. Do kind of want to be on the other side. Shoot gun. My weapon, see, that's the issue sometimes with these, like, uh, the long-range weapons. It's like, well, I wanted to move. So they do have AI, these guys, the slimes. It sort of looked like they were just, for the most part, moving back and forth, like, up and down in some rooms. I guess I don't even care about the relic chests anymore. And now, now that I know that there's such a tough limit... The creator whom you so love. I hope you meet her soon. Um, can my humble self help you today? Uh, the, the chest price decrease. I guess I could probably ditch that pretty soon. Already enhanced. So they can't be enhanced again. Uh, apply 10 shield to yourself as well when you revive. Let's just get this demon fang one. Seems fun. Hopefully the boss summons some adds, but I would imagine most will. Has infinite health right now. Which leads me to believe we need to pop this. So is this... Okay, so L2 lets me move even if I have a... Okay, well... Even if I have a weapon, that's what it is. It actually solves that problem, which is pretty cool. Wow. Oh. That's so rude. I actually think I'm going to die here and get my revive at the very least. But now I can move. We got the tricky part out of the way. Okay, so you attack me and then you attack where I was last turn. That's what it is. Kind of. So, so basically just the whole thing is don't stand still during this. 
which is really easy to do when the totem's gone, but hard to do when it's not. That It's as simple as that. You get plus 20 max HP whenever a weapon's used, heal one. What? When attack has stunned an enemy, you get 200% extra damage. Uh, let's get rid of the chest price one now, now that I realize where we're at with that. I mean, it's still good for weapons. It's still good for weapons. Traveler, immortal, whatever you are. Fear not, I'm no demon, just a witness of the tragedy between the realms. Pay me with blood, then I'll grant thy desire. No. Pretty expensive. Eh, fine. Oh, oh, it's gold. I thought it was a legendary. I gotta be honest. Meh. So I think it's just that this is a um, a different version of this guy. I will say I am impressed that they thought of the uh, the attack move thing. It's not like a wild concept, and I'm sure other games have done it too. I'm really putting myself in uh, in a pickle so that I can get extra healing in. Can't attack through the chest. Back it up. Bonk. Bonk. That's my pretty heavy attack damage one. Oh boy. Just trying to heal. Bonk. Gonna be pretty much at full HP pretty soon here. So you kind of like, you kind of walk around and then fire. You are not a scary guy when you're on your own. Somebody else is here? Ah, hello. Come to me. Come here. Come here, thank you. 200, yeah, back up to 200 for the chest though is... It is a sad day. Two shots, two tiles away. I mean, I think we go just for upgrades at this point. So now if we need to attack from the right, we're good there too. We don't need to stall for health. You jumping over me, huh? Okay. Weirdo. Pretty happy with my relics. I mean, if we could get a legendary one, I might change it out, but... Whoop. Surprised that didn't punish me. Like this does. We'll just make sure to heal off of him. Nice and easy. Y you're a little bit more annoying here. There we go. So I want to heal off you. I'll just lure you in a circle, I suppose. Seems like maybe when I start smacking them, then they get mad and start chasing me. But until then, they don't. Let's go for another spear. Good God, the... The price difference on the chest, it's so weird. Okay, the, the chest economy is so odd. And especially with that chest relic with a 75% reduction after one upgrade. But you only have three slots. It becomes just, yeah, basically, it's all about the, um, the weapon chests. It's just very strange. Uh-oh. I need to get out of here. What's here? Nothing? Eh. Uh, couldn't tell, but I assumed that that was what, what that was. 
Yep. Punished by the um, the attack hitting a breakable on that one. It, ma it makes sense. It's on me. I gotta remember that we can't move quite in that way. Let's heal off him. Gotta think about where we gotta be after. Uh oh. You know what? We can't heal off him in the normal way. We have to actually just be a little less greedy on it. Gun. Gun. The gun's really good. But it's also very. Oh my god. But it's also very upgrade. I almost beat it again. And I think the spear's really good too. I don't know. I think, I think it's the kind of thing where everything is pretty darn good. Close to the creator, I can detect it. Hmm. Lenny face. I mean, if we're if we're about to leave. Okay. Just being able to stand like there and clear out the room is incredible. I'm glad they know about the feature at the very like the glad the feature's there, but it, it, it's just a nature of these games. It's a it's a thing you'd get used to by playing more. When you ever upgrade a weapon, you have a 50% chance for it to receive two levels. Is so good if we would have gotten it earlier. Don't have very much money. Kind of hoping for a crit on that one. There's actually a very specific way we need to go. This is a freaking mimic. Move what? Diagonal or? Just got run mode on. Thank you. He hops over me, kind of like the other guys did. Halberd pistol. I feel like let's go for, yeah, we'll go for more pistol. If it's allowed. Yes, we can. We're getting really close to the end. Yeah, this, the gun upgrade is... Oh my god, 63 crit. Don't care. Don't care. Overkill heal three. Oh, the over the overkill gets upgraded. That's compelling. Seems like they might give me a heal opportunity before the final boss. Oh, now things got real messy. We are close enough that the to the high ranked demon for me to scan his body and uh, parts of the creator are uh, yeah, in there. We're too late. The creator has already been harvested. All we can do is kill demons, gather all the parts to their soul, bring them back to the lab, then I do the rest. Pardon me, but isn't it possible to complete the mission without ending the lives of sentient creatures? But we have no choice. We have to try, right? Okay, then good luck. Wait, no, one more thing, please. I notice everyone seems to have a name here. And I searched my own system earlier. From now on, please call me Sven. No way. At least pick a cool name like Age of 69 or something. Sven's also a cool name. According to my system, it was the original one. Creator was planning to call me Sven. But then it later got overwritten to Ush. Clearly got overwritten for a reason. Stop this nonsense and go back to the fight, Ush. Ush, continue the mission. Dang it, fine. Sven, go back to the fight. Roger that. Nice old heal. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Feels like when you're out of combat, I mean, it could lead to some issues, but it feels like when you're out of combat, the movement could be tightened up. Like, you could be allowed to go a little bit faster when you're not in a room with enemies. Because traversing feels a little odd. Who dares interrupt me? I, Karthanok, the mother of devils, identify yourself, you little tin man. I'm Sven. Please cooperate and let me harvest your soul. Excuse me? 
Uh, between you and me, I'm talking directly to your inner system, but that was not what I meant when I told you what's the objective. Only fools dare to mess with an angry mother. Did mama ever tell you that? Fortunately, I don't have a mama. Thank you for the information. Oh. Still no mercy for you, because my mouth is watering and I need iron in my diet. What? Is this? It's just something on a lava pit? Is that all? Is that all it is? Oh. Okay. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Um. Oh, shoot. We gotta be careful, yeah, because I was gonna say we're about to get stomped. I'm not gonna say it's unclear where the enemy is, but it's a little unclear if they are a too wide or not, you know? How much damage do you do? Is it is it worth more to get hit by the fire? Say you do 11 damage, 5% of your max HP at the end of the turn. Okay, so it does. But it does it. What? It does it twice? Because it lasts more than one turn. Okay. There's a little bit too much lava. We have to go for it in some spots here. We could try and put the lava on the lava. See right here, are you... This is you? Yeah, that is you as well, okay. Well... I kind of might as well attack then, huh? We need to get out of here. That's a bummer. That's a bummer too. Do a little bit of... So you can't really... I'm dead. You can't really get two hits in ever on this fight. Or like you can, but it's it's greed. Okay, so that's we're we're dead. Um Except I have my revive, so we might actually win by default. We attack once and then and then we move. More spots covered. It won't let me move down. Oh, it won't let me move down because there's technically enemy there. Okay. Um. Moving. Just moving. It's just, it's often that you'll get these attacks in spots where, yeah, you will not be able to move back. Mortals should never set foot in Anwen. Not again, I hope you know what you're doing this time, your highness. Goodbye. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a rough one. No need to get emotional. These demons are recreated again in no time and weaker. They're immortals anyways. Mission completed. Well, part of it, apparently. There's just one teeny tiny piece. But now you can bring the half-demon, half-creator souls back to the lab. Fun fact, soul energy is the most fascinating power source. And since humanity discovered fire with the creator's soul tech knowledge, I can totally upgrade you with these.
Thank you for playing the demo. Neat. Uh, what, what, what's here? Reward. Reward. Open a chest. Unyielding. Oh, wow. Wait, hold on. Wait, is all this stuff actually in the demo? Interesting. Because that's a lot of action. That's a lot of weapons. I was going to say it's cool. The weapon variety seems a bit bare bones, but the answer is no. So what is this one? The answer is nothing. All right. Set your... Whoa. Uh, increase the amounts of soul dropped. Increase the gold you get when you start a new run. That's a pretty substantial difference, man. Is this soul? This is soul, huh? I'm never a fan of... I mean, I'm... Okay, let's be... We'll rip the bandit off. I'm never a fan of uh, meta progress in the first place, but I'm even more never a fan of uh, meta progress upgrades that increase your meta progress gain. It feels very redundant. I wish that it didn't exist and that the soul that you would get was just somewhere in the middle, right? Like, if it goes up to increasing your soul gain by 100%, and you feel like you have to put all the souls into upgrading it up to up to that point, there's just this, like, I don't know, there's just, uh, like, an uninteresting spreadsheet level of uh, investment that you have to put into it for it to be, like, even worth thinking about. But you're like, Ugh, I mean, it feels like I'm supposed to get this now, because if I get it later, it's stupid, right? Like... So I guess I get it now while it's cheap. But I would rather it just be... you. The game is designed around you just getting about 50% more. And you don't have to spend a bunch of your levels on something that is ultimately kind of boring. Which is just the ability to get more meta progress. I never... I, I, never a fan of meta progress uh, for, str for strength upgrades. But that one... That one takes the cake because it's also so boring, right? Like, just give just give me a little bit more at the start. Even if you get less than a, you would get at max meta progress of the get more meta progress thing. Just like, I don't know. In my opinion, balance the economy around a different number then, right? And just have that be a different, more interesting upgrade. Anyways, alas, alas, it's very cool. The The dialogue in the world is wild, but I will say on that note, it's also at least very, very unique. It doesn't feel like it has a tone similar to a game that I've played. I think that there is uh, a lot of cool stuff going on with it. I think that the, like, the chest gold economy and, like, the limited amount of slots you can have is very is very weird. I don't know if runs get longer, but if they do, it's if the runs get longer than that, they are going to be running into the issue where you have to like like well, what do I care about opening up chests? But also I do care about opening up the weapon ones. So why is there so many of these relic ones? It's just it, it's this weird kind of balance thing uh that has like this strange pacing issue where you're near full build pretty quick unless you get a legendary from like a boss or something uh the weapon system is very very cool i like that they have the ability to move without attacking it's a very smart idea i think it should have been told to me so that i did like i i did experiment to figure it out but i think it'd be good to maybe include that in the tutorial as like a parenthesis cliff note kind of a thing uh really cool though like i'm actually super impressed by this i wasn't expecting much coming into this but i'm coming away honestly really looking forward to it the moment that i saw um that there are a lot more weapon types because that was going to be my big my big pointer but it seems like it's a non-issue it's just you're gonna have to unlock them alas alas though that is that that's gonna do it here for today uh the name of the game was i do have to tab out because it was so close to the dungeon beneath us the land beneath us uh yeah i Genuinely, the first time I got an email, I looked past this because I thought that the email was for uh, the dungeon beneath us. And I was like, I love that game, but I did already play it. Uh, but no, it's the land beneath us. Different game. Similar name. Alas, alas, that's that. Thank you for watching the channel for Rogue Likes more every single day. If it's a genre you're into, this is a channel that you should be subscribed to. Thank you, buddy, for watching. Thank you, thank you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.